Hello guys, uh, this is Wen Hian. So we are doing thermal expansion analysis in SolidWorks simulation. So um, uh, last time I did um, I did finite element analysis with the, the matter bar in um, ambient temperature change. So, but um, sometimes the temperature change uh, is not the, the constant. It's just sometimes it gives uh, as gradient temperature distribution. So uh, in SOLIDWORKS, we can do that uh, situation. We can simulate that situation using thermal analysis. So let me open new study. But um, first, we are going to use the fourth option. This is thermal analysis. OK, here and click it. So uh, the, the material for this matter bar going to be uh, alu aluminum alloy. So here, 6061 alloy. Click that, apply and close. And then here is thermal loads. So thermal gradients is uh, like the bottom is 19 degrees Celsius and top surface, top face has 20 degrees Celsius okay so we can apply that thermal loads here uh, temperature so click bottom surface and then this bottom surface is 19 south degrees Celsius like that and then another thermal loads gonna be uh, the place at the top surface and the amount is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, now I have uh, thermal gradients. Okay, so create mesh and then just run it. So after running, it uh, gives the temperature gradient to from bottom to top. So 19 degree to 20 degree. So this results gonna be implemented into static thermal analysis okay so um, this is the how uh, it works so first in your thermal analysis you can make thermal gradient and then it transfer to the static analysis now I have thermal uh, gradient here so let's see uh, this is Kelvin let me change the unit system edit definition go uh, the, the unit is Celsius click it so top is 20 and bottom is 19 so leave it there and then go here and click new study this is static now so now this is uh this study the study 2 should be uh should be same as study 1 i mean the in study 1 it has aluminum alloy let me grab this one into drop study 2 like that the, here, this is same um, the aluminum alloy 6061. This is pretty fun to easy, easy to use. So grab. So one thing you have to keep in mind is the mesh has to have same. Okay. So grab this mesh in study one and drop into study two like that. Okay. So here the same mesh. And then I would like to use that uh, the gradients temperature gradient right so go to study 2 and then um, open property windows and then go to flow and thermal here so now I can use second option okay thermal study study 1 okay and then click okay so now I have here thermal loads here as a thermal gradient and then just run it okay so it calculates Oh, I'm sorry. So we need a uh, constraint here, the fixed. Okay, and then run it. So now uh, let me go to the displacement. Let me change this thing um, to UI and then automatic scaling. So it gives you uh, the deflection because of the different uh, thermal. Uh, thermal loads okay so this is how it works uh, if you have thermal gradients okay so thank you and if you have any question please let me know